In the realm of science, enormous privileged insights into the topic of what existed prior to the significant impact have intertwined conversations and piqued the interest of characters for a very long time. This Goliath's request tests more than just our methods, it could separate the universe from itself. It challenges the genuine farthest requirements of human data, standing on the brink of death, studying the enormous shadowing and considering what was there before a universe was imagined the Big Bang, which established the beginning of history, the universe, and what we are regardless know that there was a moment. Sooner or later, this might have eventually developed into a state of the calm before the explosive was nothingness. Getting organized and assuming that this is either legitimate or that there was something significantly more traumatic that existed prior to time, just like we skip ahead to the science of this request, takes us on a trip to the beginning of the universe. This thought put our mindfulness to the test. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his commitment to the universe's miracles, suggests that something shocking might have moved us before the Big Bang to reconsider how we perceive reality. In this assessment of the world and existence, we'll dismantle the science, the speculative behavior, and the amazing insider secrets that could sort out what was there before. We'll explore thoughts like God's improvement, quantum mechanics, dark energy, and multiverses. The responses discussed so far might just crush you, but they might also provide fresh perspectives on our situation in the universe. The plan is to plunge deeply into the beyond, where science and imagination were. The dark side continues to circle the shadows, leaving scientists shocked and occasionally even steamed. We ought to investigate what was present before the Big Bang and the reason these theories challenge all that we expected we were aware of. The potential that existed prior to the Big Bang requires us to examine the meaning of the Big Bang. The Big Bang was a scientific fact described as an event where the universe became extremely hot and dense, rapidly expanding to set off all matter's energy and formation. When we look at the night sky, there are no boundaries. We can see this hot substance beginning with the system's expansion from a place to begin. In any case, why did this happen? Was there a time before this intensely hot beginning? As demonstrated by the concept of cosmic inflation, there was undoubtedly a previous state, and it was far from empty or quiet. According to cosmic inflation, before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was unoccupied and cold, fundamentally like an epic vacuum. In any case, the vacuum was not entirely unfilled. It held an enormous amount of power that kept the speed of the expansion of space itself under control. This, called inflation, occurred so quickly that the reason for it was generally resolve. Everything would continue in a fragment of ongoing space that increased at extraordinary rates until the expansion slowed down and the energy changed into matter, elements, and the forces that we consider the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy, and where did it come from? Did it foster the universe, and why did it stop? Scientists believe that this unending growth resulted in each patch of the universe undergoing its own Big Bang. Think of a material expanding continuously with minuscule air bubbles forming. Each bubble symbolizes a universe, including our own. This idea, known as the inflationary multiverse model, suggests that there are potentially unfathomable Big Bangs and a never-ending supply of universes. The universe we live in is just one of many. This incredible and mind-boggling reality challenges how we could decipher the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The idea that there was nothing before the Big Bang is only a theory, not a reality based on our current comprehension. Even if you remove all energy, particles, and cosmic radiation, it would still not be genuinely void. Our universe is completed by dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and various forces that weave a particular masterpiece of something, even in its most empty structure. Regardless of whether we creatively eliminate these powers, the universe would disappear into void space, still making new kinds of energy. This reality is baffling to scientists as it suggests that actual inertia could be unfathomable within our vast, comprehending space itself. Rules and constants maintain properties, preventing it from being totally empty. 
Imagine constructing a region with no particles or radiation, only negative energy except for quantum fields and huge constants. These would remain, indicating that this nothingness has properties. For instance, a concept known as zero-point energy exists, which represents the most unimaginable energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still appear and dissipate, resulting in a terrible resonance of improvement in what ought to be empty space. This challenges our assumptions of what we would call a true void and suggests that, yes, there was something before the Big Bang. Analysts are still beginning to appreciate this as potentially one of the most astounding theories in current cosmology, the possibility of eternal growth. If inflation could bring about this, it's possible that our universe could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes a truly remarkable, colossal multiverse characterized by inflation where unimaginable universes are created and expanded. Consider every Big Bang to be a spark that ignites a different universe while inflation occurs in various regions, creating innumerable other universes. This loop could theoretically occur forever. This concept of huge universes having a romantic relationship with others imagines a universe of fractals in which each new universe may actually invent its own. Every universe was created in the Big Bang an alternate, unaffected, independent space from the others. Considering the rapid development of space, for researchers, this theory is both thrilling and upsetting as it suggests an interminable multiverse with no clear beginning or end. Picture our universe as merely a tiny part of a beast's unlimited plan, constantly developing and always making new universes. What if there is no true nature of reality before or later, but rather an undying pattern of how the universe shapes us? Our interpretation of nothingness changes when we view the theory of quantum fields. As demonstrated by this theory, the universe isn't just a mix of matter floating in space. It might be a challenging connection of energy fields that fill the universe, interacting to make all that we notice. These fields are like intangible seas of particles, acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their known lowest level of energy, the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and evaporate in these fields promptly, obtaining energy before returning it. This characteristic leads to virtual substances that immediately exist and then vanish, leaving only a hazy recollection of their presence. The thought of virtual particles challenges the plausibility of a true void. Imagine an unfilled universe where all matter, energy, and radiation are moved away. Would you have, in fact, nothing? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would stay dynamic, sometimes making transient particles. This ongoing change in what should be nothing suggests that the universe defies our notion of emptiness. The fields and forces endure, filling the universe with private energy that has absolutely no effect on this understanding. This raises a fascinating question, if fields produce particles and particles create matter, could the real universe have emerged from this empty space filled with dark energy from quantum fields? Dark energy is the odd, current driving force of the accelerated expansion of our universe. Did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? According to certain accounts, dark energy exists today as the result of an energy field that existed prior to our universe's development. The properties of dark energy seem to hint at a huge, secret force that may have been present in some form prior to the Big Bang. There are rumors that dark energy, in a much more powerful state, could have regulated the inflationary phase, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy raises the question of whether, if the universe, we face the potential of dark energy as more than just a force that plays a key role in shaping our universe. It could unlock the secrets of the cosmos. Another theory about the multiverse is that an alternative is provided by cyclic cosmology to the Big Bang as a definitive beginning. With this theory, it is suggested that the universe experiences massive cycles of birth, death, and renewal. In this model, the Big Bang did not happen once but is possibly a component of an unending cycle. Separate universes form and then recover in a subsequent cycle. 
This theory suggests that the universe we live in could have been reconstructed from the ashes of a past universe. The process of compression and expansion in a cyclic pattern would imply that there has never been a beginning but rather an eternal series of universes emerging, creating, and ruining themselves over and over. Cyclic cosmology raises significant concerns about time, in the same way that the present suggests that time itself might repeat. If this theory is true, it could indicate that what was previously the Big Bang was simply another form of the universe that was limited to give birth to our current universe. Scientists say that this theory has a lot of response to the query of extreme origins, implying that there isn't a single point since its inception. The universe has existed in some form, transcending our thoughts on existence and time. Waves of gravitation are another enlightening concept that interests the world prior to the Big Bang. These waves, discovered in 2015, are swells in spacetime brought on by extremely massive objects like black holes or colliding neutron stars. These waves can travel long distances, carrying information about the events that created them. Could gravitational waves provide information about the birth of the universe? A few physicists propose that waves of gravitation emanating from the period prior to the Big Bang may offer insight into the state of the universe before inflation started. Gravitational waves from the early universe might leave clues that could help understand whether the Big Bang was truly the beginning or whether cosmic entities or events existed before that. We must be aware that these waves might be traces left behind by unforeseen events. Their presence could also hint at a grander structure beyond the eye we are familiar with. These faint signals might unlock pieces of knowledge that could alter our worldview in the same way that we discovered the beginning of the Big Bang, displaying traces of a past universe or an event that happened prior to the Big Bang. When scientists continue their investigation into the depths of space, the question remains, what existed before the Big Bang? With current theories pointing toward quantum mechanics, multiverses, and cosmic inflation, we seem to be getting closer than ever to revealing the extensive mysteries of the beginnings of the universe. While a complete answer remains elusive, our comprehension of what was before the Big Bang continues to grow with each new discovery. As we investigate these hypotheses, we can also contemplate how they might fit together to illustrate the larger picture of the true nature of the universe as a whole. Until then, we are left with the mystery driving science and wandering into unknown places far beyond what we have yet known. As we continue exploring the question regarding what existed prior to the Big Bang, the concept of time itself becomes increasingly difficult to comprehend. According to our understanding, the Big Bang makes the concept of before somewhat paradoxical. If time itself did not exist prior to the Big Bang, can the term something existing even be used? Some theories suggest that time might not have a clear starting point, and how we perceive it might be limited by the current framework of physics. One fascinating aspect of these theories is the possibility of new physical laws, ones that are not yet discovered or even within the context of our current comprehension of the universe as it currently exists. Before the Big Bang, it is suggested that there was a state of nothingness, or the governing factor then was cosmic inflation. Could forces and atoms in that pre-Big Bang state indicate an underlying layer of reality that stands outside of time and space, where the usual laws of physics break down completely? This metaphysical layer would defy everything we know about the universe and could hold the answers to some of the most profound questions. Some researchers have speculated that the beginning of the universe was not a single occurrence but rather the result of the interaction between higher dimensional forces that act in accordance with string theory. For example, the fundamental constituents of matter are not particle-like points but rather solitary strings vibrating. These strings, playing different frequencies, may exist in spaces with higher dimensions beyond the three-dimensional space we can observe. If this theory holds any truth, then our universe could be just one slice of a space with more dimensions that intersects with others, forming the multiverse. In this scenario, the Big Bang could signify the connection between these dimensions in a cyclical fashion of universes being created and destroyed in higher dimensions. 
Moreover, theories such as the ekpyrotic model propose that our universe might have begun with a collision between two higher-dimensional spacetime brains or membranes. These are more than three-dimensional. Collisions, if they occurred, could have triggered a Big Bang-like event beginning a new cycle of expansion and contraction. These models provide a framework for understanding the origins of a universe that does not depend on a traditional single point of origin but instead presents a scenario in which rebirth occurs through cosmic events. This idea challenges conventional wisdom about the beginning of the universe and opens the door to new possibilities for how it might evolve in the future. There are also intriguing ties that bind these cosmological theories and philosophical questions about the nature of existence itself. If space, time, and matter have always existed in some form, does this imply a constant and eternal reality beyond what we see, or are we in the midst of an endless cycle of creation, destruction, and expansion? Some have even suggested that the responses to these questions fall outside the purview of science entirely and may only be fully understood through metaphysical or even spiritual inquiry. This would seem to support that the limits of human understanding might not only depend on developments in technology and physics but also on the deep reality's existential nature. In conclusion, while we may never fully provide an answer to the question of what existed before the Big Bang, the theories and concepts that surround it offer a rich web of possibilities. As our comprehension of quantum mechanics, dark energy, and cosmology continues to evolve, we may inch closer to discovering the true nature of time and the existence of the universe as a whole. Regardless of whether the answer is grounded in science, philosophy, or something entirely beyond our comprehension, the mystery of what existed prior to the Big Bang continues to engage and motivate humanity's search for knowledge.